Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I need to confess that I'm having some anxiety disorder problems right now. Like the sorts of thing like the sort of anxiety where you wake up in the morning and you just feel like something awful is going to happen and you simply can't compose yourself properly. That's kind of where I'm at today. So Today's run, I feel, should be something to help ease my tensions and have fun with at the same time. So, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and roll the ol' a die and see what we get. Alright, soundtrack d20. Huh, what do you know? Alright, so we're going to be doing the classics a third time in, the, in a row. And then after that, I'm... So... And then after that, like the, the, the I'm saying the wrong things. The next video I do, I'm just going to choose one of the other two soundtrack options just on my own. This doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough that hey, you know what? Sometimes you just need to work with it. All right, so what kind of a run are we going to be doing? Well, I'm going to do this because I want to start with more than one relic. Don't worry, this, this doesn't take long, and I actually already have something in mind, so don't worry so much about it. As far as the whole anxiety thing is concerned, I've spoken before that I have some mental issues. This is this is just the culmination of that. Grab that. Well, I guess culmination is the wrong word, but this is the, re the result of what some of those issues can create. Because one, one's anxieties can often get the better of them and create this sort of... This sort of, I don't know what's going on, I feel you know, horrified for no reason sort of thing. And that's where I, that's where, like, I'm not sure was is the right term because I'm still feeling jittery and unsure of things, but it's definitely where I was at this morning. Go mono. We're gonna go mono fire today, which means we're also going to take you. And I figure so long as I'm at it, I may as well take a free to match stick as well. As far as our signature. Yeah, what the heck, let's go for Flame Breath. Standard. Let's look through. I might go Blazing Vault. I might go Burn Cycle. I might go Blazing Lair. Well, there's a lot of things I might do. Let's see what, let's see what I will actually do. Ignition Drive, that's another good one. Outside of Crashing Meteor, what would work really well with a Power Build? That's kind of what I'm going for here. Flame Fusion, of course. Ooh, so many options. So many things that I like. 
think. Because I don't use it very often, I'm gonna go Ignition Drive. As far as our dash is concerned. Let's go Flare Rush. And for you... Let's see, Flame Strike... I'm gonna go Flame Strike just because I don't use it very often. As far as the robe, I don't know, do I stick with Rule? I think, no, I think I'm gonna go Hope. I was thinking about going Venture, but I also know, I also know that in the state I'm in, I'm probably gonna make some really stupid mistakes and would rather not do that at the moment. Now, despite that, there is there is another relic that I want to start with. It won't be the pie of five fruits because I still want to be able to inflict burn. And I'm sure you all know what it is I'm looking for. There it is. <laughs> because the retro floor plan makes everything easier. Well, when it comes to acquiring money. And then, as far as where we start, we are going to start by bothering my in-game crush, and away we go. And she's a flame mage, she understands how this, how this sort of thing works. Alright. So I've apologized in the past for... Oh, that's right. For some reason I thought I had Exploding Fireball. So I've apologized in the past for doing episodes that are, you know, laden with my, with my mental health opinions and misgivings. And I'll apologize again because I know you guys don't come to these videos going, Boy, I wonder what Dark Sage has to say about anxiety today. But it's one of those things where... Where I do sometimes... Where I do sometimes make, make videos based upon mental health issues and, and problems. And today is one of those days where I just... Where I just kind of knew, where I just needed to deal with it because it was just getting to be it. It was getting to be a problem, or I should say, it started off as a problem, and now I just need to, you know, do a combination of vent and just explain it because talking about it is oftentimes the first step to getting to getting over your problem. Well, Captain's Ring is damn near useless. Stygian Turtle Shell, on the other hand, is not. But before I jump on that bandwagon, let me see what else is available for me to spend my money on. Okay, guys, that's... That's enough of that. Hello, Doctor. All right, so is is there is there a possibility of me getting to? Unfortunately, no. And I can't just give her something else because that's because that's just not how it works.
No, if I try to buy something else and give it to her, she'll just end. Because there's a there's a hierarchy to it. She ends up taking the. She ends up taking the. <laughs> All right, I've explained this before, and the only reason why I'm having trouble explaining it now is because, like I said, I'm in a very iffy spot at the moment. But there's a hierarchy to what she wants. Or rather, to what she takes, because it'll start with. So that starts with her potentially taking. A... Well, not potentially. She will take a an unenhanced Arcana before she'll take an enhanced one. And if you have more than one that meets that criteria, then she will. Then she will take what you've had for the longest amount of time first. So right now, there's there's only one. Oh, and one more criteria. She also will not take basic, st basic dash, or signature. So she will only take s standard arcana. And right now, there's only one thing that, fit that fits that criteria. means I would have, which means even if I did accept, I would then be one uh, one arcana further away from from activating Dev's ruby. You have two things that I would like, but in both case, in one case, it would be it would be a little bit less effective than usual because because of the retro floor plan. In the case of the other, I don't have anything I want to give the mimic. So I think I'm just going to wait until the end of the floor to pick something up. And I might just end up going without a Cursed Relic, because I don't want to give up the relics I started with. Those were hand-picked for a reason. Like I wish you could give the adorable mimic something other than, something other than relics, but it doesn't give you an option. And that's probably for the best. Because if you could just give it anything that you don't want, be it relics or arcana, then. Yeah. Okay, so we're definitely taking that. Uh, I'm just... For some reason, my brain was going, Yeah, hey, you can trade an Arcana for, with someone for something, and no, no, I can't. Not on this floor, anyway. Alright, so we're up to five. Okay, we definitely want that. We're going to adopt Etra. So now, let's double check. Honestly, I'm probably good just to move on. Probably 
probably good just to move on without a Cursed Relic, real honestly. And I think, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll just move forward without a Cursed Relic. Could take it, but eh. I'll give myself a little I'll give myself a little bit of a challenge and just move on without it. Because yeah, there's nothing saying I couldn't temporarily wield it, but eh. I would hope that that you all are doing better than I've been doing today. I, I've just felt strange, strangely paranoid and afraid all day. And even even just stopping and taking a little power nap in the middle of the day didn't necessarily fix that. So, for what it's worth, I have already spoken. I have already spoken to someone, and I will. Oops. And I will do so again in the near in the near future if the problems continue. Which I mean, I don't know how to force them to stop, but I know that there are things like breathing exercises and things like that. And what I'm doing right now is essentially giving my mind an excuse to focus on something else. Ow, ow, ow. So even if just for a little bit, I'm hoping that this also, that this helps, that this helps my mind focus on something else and, and, gives me, and gives me the chance to just, you know, let things be. And there we go. Now we are on fire. And with Nev's Ruby active, that's a 20% damage increase, plus I plus all Arcana's burn now. So I like both the Token of Doom and the Ancient Fountain Pen here. And Tapping Gloves are okay. For some reason, I thought that was Fractal Flare. Oh well. Also, why did I walk when I could have used a teleporter? Good question. I 
I refer you back to the idea that I'm still feeling like garbage and probably not thinking very clearly. Thinking about the mercenary's dagger. And I'm not going to be not going to be needing much in the way of Arcana anymore. Like I still need to upgrade Fractal Flare. But there's no guarantee that I won't be spending a lot of money on other things. I guess what I'm saying is it's a little early in the run for the Mercenary's Dagger, and I'm just not 100% sure about it. Like, even with the Retro Floor Plan active, I'm just not sure about it. Eh. <sighs> Like, I probably should grab something, but... I can also see things very easily going south if I, if I pick up this. Plus 20, plus 20, plus 12... 20% chance to double. You know what? Maybe I'll just move on. If I'm putting that much thought into it, still haven't found a still haven't found a, a conclusive answer. Might be better just to call it good. Okay, you can go away now. Well, alright then. And if I pop back here... Like, the only other person I would want to see in this spot would be... Would be Seville. Anyone else, I can just kind of be like, eh, whatever. So yeah, I'll grab the Token of Doom. Wait, were those guys taking damage from something for no reason? Like, I'm very curious as to what as to what triggered them what to, what triggered those enemies to become aggro before I had even loaded into the level. Hey, the more you play a game, the more you notice weird things happening. Hey, little bot, go away. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. I appreciate you appreciate you coming in and spending some of your time with me. I normally say that at the end of the episode, but I wanted to say it here in the middle, just to say, just because I wanted to say that I do appreciate when you guys when you come in here and check out my work. It really does mean a lot to me. And just on on a very basic level, I like to 
I like to use my YouTube channel as a means to as a means to create. I do also draw, but it's been a while since I picked up my uh, since I picked up my notebook. And I think that's because of this. See, I think that's because I do pencil and paper drawings, and I don't think that that people online would be too interested in deciphering pencil and paper drawings. Which is not to say that they're like any more or less confusing or anything like that. But in But in this world of everything being digital and everyone wanting everyone wanting more digital artwork, it can it can be kind of a pain to kind of a pain to be a, to be an artist that does their work via physical via physical medium, which doesn't translate easily to an online presence. That little complaint aside, I think if there is something that keeps me from picking up my notebook, it's just the it's just the usual anxiety problems. But I mean, our era of digital art doesn't necessarily help when I spend all of my time going, is anyone even going to care if I if I do digital art if I do you know nor like well I guess normal isn't the right word, but if I do physical medium art. Like, I had a... Like, I had this idea, because I love the fairies in this game so much, that I wanted to draw a fan, rep draw a fan representation of them, but I still can't win. Like, there's still a part of me that suggests that no one is going to be interested in seeing that. So, I don't know, am I... am I being too... Uh, like, is that even reasonable? Like... Like, am I perhaps being too harsh on myself, or... Or do I have a point, and... Would doing... would doing, you know pencil and paper with, you know, with just colored pencil and whatnot, would uh, would no one actually be interested in seeing that? Like, I just don't know. Like for those of you who have been with my channel for a while, I haven't I haven't forgotten about or necessarily given up on that idea. Like I still have I still have the ideas in my head for each fairy. But I can't help but I can't help but feel like it's something that very few people would actually be interested in if I don't find a way to learn how to do it digitally, which involves either re completely relearning how to draw in a way that I've in, in a way that I've never done before, or would require me to to buy a very a very expensive tablet that will actually display display what I'm working on on the tablet itself. Which, yes, that would be the ideal method, because that would be the perfect marriage of digital art and, and I guess, regular art, if that's even the right word. We're gonna want that.
Or the other option is I do is I do something like actually go through the process of of doing it on pencil and paper, and then just having to do something like scan it in or photograph it to show people. I'm just don't, I'm just not sure that anyone would that would be interested in that. Like maybe, yeah. maybe we're getting into the realm of me overthinking things here, but I don't know. That's just kind of where my head is at on that. You know, says the person who admitted to not being not being able to do anything for most of the day because they were paranoid that something was going to happen. I mean, yeah, admittedly, I have issues. Oh, that was not very smart. I actually meant to do that, but oh well. So, I'd like you guys to let me know what you think about that, because... I mean, outside of them... Outside of YouTube, drawing and Dungeons and & Dragons are the things that I like to use to... are the things that I like to use to express and flex my creative muscle. And I haven't drawn for a while because I'm very unsure of whether or not there's still room in the world for someone who just does who does physical drawings instead of digital ones. There, that's where I'm going. Don't much care for any of those. So I think... We're gonna go ahead and grab the Golden Saber of Envy. That's another 20%. Like, is that even a thing I should be worried about? Like... Do people really look down on really look down on artists for not for not doing digital art? As I like Firewall, I'm just, just gonna leave that. I don't really need it right now. And yes, we'll actually use the portal to teleport back to the beginning instead of walking all the way back. I don't know what in my brain causes me to want to keep doing that. Probably the same part of my brain that's trying to convince me that there's that there's some negative thing that's going to happen that I can't identify. Here's the thing, I know that it's, well, in part, my anxiety. I do have actual problems that I'm trying to, that I'm trying to work through, but... Alright, guys, that's enough.
And on, honestly, looking at it, I probably wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have been too negatively impacted had I taken the mercenaries dagger. But in my eyes, better safe than sorry in that in that respect. Because we weren't exactly at the end of the run yet. Here, see if there's anything that would fit in nicely. Honestly, not really. <laughs> and yes, I know that's going to slow me down, but again, another plus 20% damage. And plus 20% stun time. And it doesn't slow down your dash at all. You can just use your dash to get around. I don't know, I've never really... I've never really viewed the Anchor of Burden as a bad thing. And in combat, you're going to be getting around mostly using your dashes anyway. I think just to stay on the safe side, we're going to grab this. This is the sort of heat you feel on the surface of the sun, boys. last minute changes to make to my setup looking like no so let's take this burn this burning dragon flame of passion to Sura and see what he thinks Hey, do something that's going to hold you still for a while. You know, like that. That was smart. Good 
Yep, that works. All right. I'd say not bad for a mono fire run, even if I did just decide to like, face tank the damage that he was putting out there for a bit. All right, so once again, I apologize for having you guys listen to me talk about mental health. I know it's... I know it gets a little tiring, but at the same time, I also feel as though mental health is a very important subject to talk about. And on something a bit more real, definitely let me know your let me know your opinion on the whole, you know, physical art versus digital art kind of debate that I've got going on in my own head. Maybe I'm overreacting, but you know, if there really if there really is like a stigma that I need to be aware of against against physical art, which is the only thing that I know how to do at the moment, then by all means let me know because I could definitely use something to help sway my opinion as well as maybe my next big investment. So that's it. Comment comment below and give me your opinion. And I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.